What's up, y'all? Um, I'm making this video today to let you guys know that, you know, we are in a serious purge right now. Um, you know, today is a nine day. It's a day of endings. It's not by accident that tomorrow is a, um, a one day. And it will be a day of beginnings and new beginnings. Purge, 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 man. Just get it all out. Um, but I got a message this morning from um, the Divine Feminine, which also happens to be one of my spirit guides, the way that I connect. Um, but anyway... that she's hurting and she's she wants to be loved by her divine masculine you know but after that i got that message literally the divine masculine started speaking to me and purging all of this emotional pain it's time for us divine men to step up and apologize to these goddesses to these women these these beautiful creations It's time to step up and love them. Like really love them, like help them evolve. Love means to evolve somebody. That's why love changes. I'm sorry I'm trying to keep my emotions in check, but you know, normally I'll have my cards or I'll have something, but honestly, you really kind of don't need anything to to channel to 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 get information or to receive your downloads. And I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, I don't have to tell you that. You already know that. But we got to step up and start apologizing. Start carrying the weight that we laid down a couple of generations ago. This is not our first rodeo. Now is the time. So you know who these divine feminine people are in your life. But to the divine feminine, I am just putting this out there. We apologize for all of the indecencies that we have committed against you. We're sorry. We were sorry. We were sorry. But now, we're back. It's time. It's okay to cry, man. It's okay for your divine feminine to be strong within you and you still be a man. It has nothing to do with how much you can bench press, how fast you can run. You have to be in balance within yourself. So all of this electromagnetic energy can just flow through you. We have to drop all of the facades and get on this frequency, this vibration of unity, unity unity because trust me we're all one and everybody's waiting on us <laughs> and everybody's waiting on us to wake up and show them what real love looks like what real care looks like you know even that word love you know it's like getting that download about love and how 
love is so superficial and love is this. And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Is love really superficial? I mean, it really made me go back to the drawing board on what love was. And true love, true love tells the truth. It evolves you. It makes you a better person. So I say it's time to truly start loving. Carry your weights. Carry your weights. Carry your cross. As Yahushua would have said, carry your cross. Bear it. Because once you've learned to bear it, you can get rid of it. It frees you up to continually work. But it's time to start loving our goddesses, to start loving and showing these women who we really are and what we really can accomplish together, not apart, together in unity. A lot of women scream they don't need a man. They don't. They don't need you. But they would desire to be with you. You know, they would definitely love to have a man that is like their best friend who they can trust. That is not about sex. It's not about anything other than the relationship with them. See, it's time for us to end those, you know, um, promiscuous relationships that make us feel um or supposedly make us feel like a man, but it does. It makes you feel ran down. It makes you feel less than a man. But really purge out anything you feel you've done against the divine feminine, against any woman. Purge it out. Ask your forgiveness. Understand that at one point in your life, you were sorry. You were not the individual that you are becoming now. Give thanks to it and let it go. Let it go. And get ready for the new, the new beginning, the new wave. Like I said, we in here now, baby. <laughs> we signed up for the ride and we here and it's time to roll. So like I said, all my peeps, you know who you are. You know who you are. We've came through so much, so much. And now we're, we're, we're right here. It's awesome. It's right here. It's right here. Learning your star code, learning, learning who you are, where you resonate from. Wow. You're learning the true power you have. Learning that you are like the ultimate manifester, like like you literally can sit there and just think of something and then two or three minutes later, bam, there it is. It's like, wow, how did that happen, right? But then sometimes it don't work. You're trying to manifest something. It's like, okay, I'm going to try to manifest a, a lottery win. You know who you are. And it's like, oh, it don't work. Um, it, it works. It works. <laughs> it's just not going to work when you're trying to grab something out of the 3D. Nah. You manifest in the 5D and you watch what happens. Manifest things that are along your life path and your destiny. And boy, watch what happens. But anyway, I don't want to rattle on. I just wanted to let you guys know that today is a day of ending. Today is a day of, of really purging that stuff out because tomorrow the eclipse comes and we're going through that doorway. We're going through that gate. And be ready. Be ready. And once again, to the divine feminine, every woman walking this earth, every woman, every, every, hmm, mankind, all of mankind, but especially the mankind that carries the womb that bears that burden upon this earth that connects with Gaia through every single means every single channel even if you know it or not 
we care for you, we adore you, and we apologize for not being there. But as we stand up and we stand in unison, and these 11 start becoming 12s and we start resonating on 13, you get both of them chakras going, both pairs on the 12th chakra, the 13th, the 14th, open both of those chakras up and connect both of those because that's what's coming. Amazing, amazing connection. Hmm. It's going to be beautiful. So just prepare yourself and get ready. I adore you guys so much. Have a very blissful day. Blissful, blissful, blissful. Don't be less, <laughs> but be in bliss. Love you guys.